What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV. Well, we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, so studio. Kind of like studio, but without the T. So studio. Let's yeah. see some love. It's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. They reached out to me and they asked me to review their new ETT earbuds. And now I don't think that they come out until June 15th. So if you're watching this video before then, or if I happen to publish this video before then, got a lot of stuff backed up. They might not be available, but as always, I'll put the link in the description down below. And also I'll have the Amazon link and their website link down below. Currently right now they're going online for about $160, $159 to be exact. But they reached out to me and they asked me to review these earbuds. And before I said yes, I did do a little research on these and I noticed that they just check some of the common boxes that I normally look for in earbuds if I were to buy them personally. And that is wireless charging, USB type C port, noise canceling, a IP rating, which is this is an IP rating of five, and then also decent battery life, which I'll get into later. So look these up, covered all those bases, and responded back to them and said, hey man, go ahead, send those over. I would love to review those. They come in four different colors. You got your black, you got your white, you got a pink color, and then you also have a green color. So I guess depending on how you feel, what color you want, they're available for you, which is always a nice touch when an uh, earbud company can offer their earbuds in more than one different color. So quickly going around this box, you have the image of the earbud on the front side, and I do have the white color. On the back side, it gives you some of the features that it has. True wireless earphones and active noise cancellation and wireless charging. Clear voice microphone, four extra charges with the charging case five sizes of parabolic ear tips, three sizes of conic ear tips. So I believe that's eight ear tips and all. I'm not sure if they're including the ones that are already pre-installed on there. So um, we'll find that out when I unbox this. Wireless charging, type C quick charge, and IPX5 water protection. So that's pretty much everything on the outside of the box. So I'm opening these up, check them out. Of course, my orange box come to make the world go round. Okay, so as soon as you unwrap them, you have this pull-out tab. Just open them up, they slide out, and then the earbuds are right here on top. So you do have the earbud case sitting nicely on top, and it has nice feel to them. I like that. It's like a, a soft silicone feel. I'll get to this in a little bit. Let me set that to the side. You have an accessories box underneath. Inside this accessories box, which you'll get, I believe you have all the ear tips. Yep, you have your ear tips right here. So you have a extra large, a small, uh, extra small and a large for the parabolic ear tips. And then you have large, medium, small for the conic ear tips. There are four parabolic and three conic ear tips. So there are one set of parabolic ear tips already installed, which are the medium ones. So like I said earlier, there are eight ear tips that you get with these. You also get your USB type A to USB type C charging cable. You have some literature, which I will probably be looking at in a little bit just to find out the button function since these are a new brand of earbud to me. I'm not familiar with them, so. Okay, so this earbud case right here, the battery life on these earbuds, on a single charge, you'll get about six hours of playback time. This case will charge your earbuds back up four additional times for a total of around 30 hours of playback time. Now that's with the active noise cancellation off. With the active noise cancellation turned on, you'll get around 20 hours of playback time. And to charge this case back up, if you drain the battery completely, it takes around an hour and a half. Okay, so going around this charging case right here, it says charge before use. Well, I guess it's a perfect time to go ahead and set this on the wireless charging. And as you can see, as soon as I set this on the wireless charging, you do have these lights that pop up on the front side. It's an increment of 25%. So right now I am at 50% and I think that's good enough to at least get this video completed. Going around this case, you do have, I believe this is a, a somewhat leather type lanyard. It's, it's not, I don't know if this is real leather. I'm not too good at determining uh, real leather from fake leather. I mean, I guess it's nice, uh, a nice thing to have a lanyard to hook this onto a backpack, a carabiner, or whatever. You have your USB type C charging port on the left side as you're looking at it and you have a nice engraving of the company name Studio on the front side of the charging case. Okay, so this lid is 
They will not open up if you tip them upside down or you give them a little shake. The earbuds themselves are, I believe, held in by magnets. So if I turn this upside down, they won't fall out either. That's pretty much it for the case. I guess it could be slimmer, but for right now, I'm not complaining. So these earbuds are a boom style earbud. You do have your little stem right here, like the AirPods Pro. They also have that nice silicone feel on the outside of them, just like the earbud case. You do have indicator lights on the back side. It looks like you have two microphone holes on each earbud and maybe two more on the inside of the earbuds. You do have your multi-function buttons on the outside and they are physical buttons, they're not touch buttons. Uh, I do like that, kept it physical. Love that part about these earbuds. If you hold down the multi-function button for two seconds, that turns the ANC on and off. One click will play and pause your music. Two clicks will go to the next track. Three clicks will go to the previous track. For a phone call, you click one time, it'll end and answer phone calls. And if you hold down while you're on a phone call, that will mute your earbuds. You also have your charging points on the bottom side of these earbuds. So when you set them inside the case, this is what charges your earbuds. They do sit in my ears really nice. I do like them. I don't know if you can see these, but they, I don't, they don't stick out that much. They do stick out if that's something that you're worried about, but not that much. It is a very secure fit. Shake my head, they're not moving out. Like I said before, they do have an IPX5 water resistant rating. So if you wanna work out in these, you wanna uh, take these out while you're running, um, you should be able to do that. So let me go ahead and pair these to my mobile device and see what kind of sound I get out of these. Okay, so after testing out the sound quality, you know what, at first when I put these on, I was listening to music, I was, thinking that I wish the sound was better on these earbuds, but I forgot that these do offer noise cancellation on them. And then with the noise cancellation turned on, you do get a little bit of bump in sound. I mean, it's it's kind of different. I don't know if I, it's just, I'm just hearing this for the first time on these earbuds, or I just didn't pick these up on my other earbud reviews. But for these earbuds, I can actually notice the sound stage on these. The voice of the artist is just a lot clearer. It's, it actually, feels separated from the actual music. I don't know if this is making sense to you, but this is how I'm explaining it. I can really hear the mid-tones just that much clear with the ANC turned on. The highs, the highs are pretty good. I would like the volume of this, the overall volume of these earbuds to be able to go up a little bit more. These aren't for bass heads at all. This is more of a balanced sound than sound for bass heads. So, I mean, overall the sound quality is not bad, but I did like the overall sound stage of these earbuds. Call quality, in stereo, really good. I made a quick phone call. Obviously there's no ambient noise in here, but the person I was talking to, they were able to hear me just fine. I did turn some music on in the background. They heard that, but it wasn't like overpowering my voice. They were still able to hear me just fine. And then also, one of the questions I do get a lot, can you listen to each ear but independently? Yes, you can. And it's just a seamless transition. Put one in the case have listened to the other one and then switch it out. The sound will automatically cut back on in the earbud without you doing anything when you take them out the case and put them in your ear. Um, one thing that I did notice, it does not have an automatic shut off feature. So if you take one earbud out, it will still keep playing in the earbud until you put it in the case and then the music in that earbud will cut off. And then also, let me go ahead and pick it back on my last comment about the active noise cancellation. These do have active noise cancellation. I did notice a slightly better sound when I was listening to these when I activated the active noise cancellation. But to be completely honest with you guys, it's nowhere near your active noise cancellation that you would get out of some Sony earbuds, the AirPods Pro, or even the new Neuraloop earbuds. But they do have them in here. I'm not mad at that. Like I said before, these are only $160. So you get what you pay for more times than not in tech. And that's no bad thing. I'm not throwing any shade at these earbuds from studio. But I do believe if they were at a higher price point and they had a little bit more sophisticated technology in here, I do believe that the active noise cancellation would have been that much better in these earbuds. But Either way it goes, they do have active noise cancellation in these earbuds. Okay, and so for the latency, you'll have no issues with latency on any video streaming platform that I know there's YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, Apple TV Plus, all of the pluses out there, there were no latency issues. 
that I had with these earbuds. So, I mean, and so that's pretty much it for my full review of these earbuds, my first unboxing and impression. It does come in a nice wireless charging capable case with your USB type C port on the side. It has decent battery life, IPX5 water resistant, active noise cancellation. It's not the best active noise cancellation, but it is in there. And to keep this price point at a uh, competitive $160 is a good thing that Studio did with these earbuds. You also get good sound quality, not the greatest, it's good sound quality, which I'm not mad at. And for your average consumer, you will not be upset with the sound quality in these earbuds. If you're a bass head or if you're more of an audiophile, this product right here just isn't for you. This comes at a good price point and just gives you another option out there for some boom style type earbuds if you're interested and you don't want to go over $170, $180, you wanna stick around $150 price point, Go ahead and check these out. But that's it, people. As always, if you find any value in this video at all, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Or if this is your first time here and you like what you saw and you're interested in more of my tech videos as they drop, smash that subscribe button down below as well. And don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.